I'm your guardian angel. What the fuck? You know it's rude to slam doors. Guardian Angel, but you can call me Anna. Just breathe. That's it. I don't understand. Are you outside? Now you're here? <laughs> I see you still prefer logic over fear. I've always liked that about you, Richard. How do you know my name? Right, I get it. You're my guardian angel. Well, I prefer the term guide. Guardian angel makes me sound a little free. Okay, so, um, why are you here? Because, Richard, I miss you. You miss me? Yes, Richard, I do. It's been a while since we last talked. Okay. Now you've lost me. I, I just don't understand. Look, Richard, what I'm about to tell you might be a little hard to digest, but it's really important that you listen. Okay, um, I'm all ears. In your last life, you were a Nazi soldier called Hans Hutterman. A very brutal one, might I add. You spend your last life killing people. But as always, you realised being you were causing them. When you died, you felt so bad about it. You wanted to return to Earth sooner than planned. The big bosses upstairs, they said no. But you'd never take no for an answer. So a deal was struck. You were allowed to come back down to Earth if you promised to help people for the better before your 27th birthday. If not, then you would be put straight back up. 
Oh my god! It's my 27th birthday tomorrow! I'm gonna die, aren't I? No, 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 no. Richard, that's why I'm here. I managed to convince the bosses upstairs to give you a second chance. You're not gonna die tomorrow. Oh, thank god. Richard, I pulled a lot of strings to get you this chance, and it would mean the world to me if you didn't screw it up. What do you mean? I've broken a lot of rules and protocols just to be here today. I don't want you messing up this lifetime too. Well, it's my life. I could go have one with it. Funny, a second ago you were begging for your life. Do you know what? This is insane. I mean, I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. You're just, you're just a crazy woman. Like, I must admit, it was a wonderful magic trick you pulled off, but I'd really like for you to get out of my flat. You want me to leave? Yeah, I'd actually like that. Hmm, I see. What now? Those visions you've been having, they're from your past life. And the only way to stop them, Richard, is to forgive yourself. You've got a good heart, believe me, I know. And I know life's a bitch. You've never had to be on your own. But I know what you're capable of, and I know you're going to make me proud. Uh, well, thanks. One last thing. You probably shouldn't take these. They take years off your life. How did you get these? How does she keep doing this? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you just say that you had a girl who came into your house claiming she was your guardian angel? It's crazy as it sounds, Jamie. It's the truth. What's your foot down? It's not a joke, man. It's serious. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just hard to believe with all the angels and whatever, man. It's all a bunch of nonsense, man. Well, then explain to me how she got inside my house. I don't know. Maybe you've been working too long. All that chick has been getting to your head. All right, look. Maybe it's the antidepressants, you know. Those things mess with your mind. The last thing you need is somebody thinking you're crazy. You're right, man. As always. What can I say? I'm good with words. So you're gonna finish this run or not? Nah, I'm good, man. I think I'm just gonna go to the shop. Alright. I love you. I see me. Who has it? Malatishi. I love you. It's the Anna Ea. Saya Yam Sete. It's the Anna Lea. Para Lora Sadom. Ea tu Sadom. We shall see. What do you want? I just want to talk. Richard, I know this is all a bit strange, but you have to listen to me. Fine, talk then. Okay, I don't think you should be friends with Jamie. Why not? Let's just say he doesn't have your best interests at heart. I think I'm old enough to pick my own friends, don't you? He's the angel of death. What? I said he's the angel of death. Well, he's one of them. The person you call Jamie is not your friend. He's part of a group. 
called the Angel of Death. These people are the ones that bring humans back. You know, for a guardian angel, you're not really that nice, are you? Richard, I'm not lying to you. I would never lie to you. Stay away from me. I never want to see you again. Richard, wait! Richard, come on, wait! Sorry, um, my car's just broke down and I'm wondering if you could just help me for a minute. 